We have been talking about them and showing you some of what some would consider disturbing video. Yeah, the mayflies are back and like it or not, they're part of Lakeside Living. Mayfly season reporter <laughs> Kaylee Kirby joins us live and Kaylee, by uh, oh now this gosh. is your favorite time of year. <laughs> Look oh. at that behind you. Oh yeah, <laughs> if we're talking, okay, if we're talking about summer like weather and the seasons, yes, definitely my favorite time of year, but mayflies, you see that? Absolutely not. No way, but I'm out here. It's peak mayfly season, so I decided to see how things are going. The season is upon us, and I'm not talking about summer. It's mayfly season. Well, mayflies are an annual visitor to our area. A visitor that not many people welcome. Is there cover in the mailbox? You can't open the door. You can't open a garage. You can't open anything. Thankfully, these house guests aren't the ones that bite or sting. There's nothing you can do about them. They're just a nuisance. <laughs> and the experts say there's different types of mayflies based on what part of the country you're in. But the ones near Lake Erie are unique. They're bigger than other kinds of mayflies. And uh, it's just the right conditions for them. There's plenty of oxygen at the bottom, which is important, and plenty of food for them. They do have one redeeming quality. A big swarm means a healthy lake, and neighbors say this year is one of the worst. Hundreds and hundreds. And down by where I keep my boat at, there's probably hundreds of thousands of them right now. Oh, wow, wow. No, we wouldn't even guess that, because you would do the garage, the driveway, the door, the front door, the back, yes. No, you couldn't guess. So why such a big amount this year? Experts say there's one main reason. Depending, especially on the wind, if the wind is coming, like right now you notice the wind is coming from off of the lake, so when the, when the wind is blowing towards the land, that'll blow mayflies towards us. Everyone has their horror stories, but to live near the lake, they say it's a price they're willing to pay. I'll deal with the mayflies. I like the area. I'll deal with the mayflies. Besides dinner, I'll deal with the mayflies. But yes, they are. I just had it was attacked going to the mailbox. All right, so I got to tell you, I'm really trying to keep my cool because I've had about five mayflies land on me during this live shot. Thankfully, the only thing uh, keeping me sane right now is the fact that they have a very short life cycle. Again, if you are someone who lives in this area, obviously turn off your lights, which we're not doing right now, and make sure you have a blower to get rid of them as quickly as you can. If you want any information on the life cycle of a mayfly, we've got that posted right now on WTOL.com. Reporting live in the point, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11. I, I tell you what, we have seen this year after year after year, and I got to say, I never remember seeing anything like that. Yeah, I was afraid she was going to pick some up in her hair. But have you been out to your car tonight in Not our yet. parking lot? Not yet. I stayed away from the lights tonight. I was smart about it. Well, so we're right on the Maumee River right. here, right by the lake, and so we get them every year. They're crunching underneath your feet tonight. Yes, they will be in just a few minutes as we make our way to the car. And uh, it turns out you can see them on radar actually when that swarm gets big enough. Yeah, let's check in with Chris. Uh, what do you see when these mayflies pop up there? You guys are looking at it right alongside me as well. That big blob on radar that isn't rain or anything that's falling from the sky. Uh, that is the act of mayfly infestation. And fortunately, we got our little mayfly swatter here. Get them out of here. All right, only if it was that easy.